Perhaps what brings you here this evening and uh, what, what has happened here exactly? Well, I got a report from my son that uh, he had come to home and as he was leaving, the watchman at the gate told him that there were people claiming, because that's all we can state for now, to be DCI officers in a vehicle with Sudanese registration uh, and claiming that uh, they want to speak and to see him. And uh, I told them immediately, I mean, uh, from my knowledge, when the police want to do something, they don't come in foreign uh, number plates. Number two, they have a warrant. Number three, they state their case and they show and produce the warrant that is supposed to uh, allow them to do whatever it is that they want to do. And I told them, don't open the gate. Uh, and unfortunately, I was uh, in the office doing uh, other work, so I just told them, just keep the gate closed. And I am now here, and I understand now they have left. Because I wanted to ask them, what are you doing in my son's home? Mm. Do you believe this has uh, anything to do with the ongoing protests and, of course, uh, having the opposition claiming? Uh, the, I, the, I, the unfortunately, government. I have no other explanation to give because all of these things are flowing in a row. I have uh, a whole minister of government staying there that is going to do I don't know what in front of my mother's house. I have uh, people who have been guarding my mother for the last almost 50 years withdrawn at night. I have now a situation where my son's home is being raided for things that I don't understand. So I ask myself, what does this government want? Because if it wants me, the fact that I've been silent doesn't mean I'm scared. Come for me. Why do, what, what does my mother have to do with anything? What does uh, my children have to do with anything? Come on, should they mean me? I'm here. Right? Yeah? They know where I am 24-7. Right? Why, why all this? Intimidate a 90-year-old woman. Intimidate children. Right? If it is me you want, what, you come and tell us what you want. Yeah. Mr. President, they have been claiming that uh, you are behind the Azimil Omoja protest and you are funding the protest. Perhaps, what do, how do you reply to these statements? You tell me, right? And I have said it severally. And that's why I keep saying, maybe silence sometimes is, is not right. Yeah? But I have ignored it because I have asked myself, how? How? Yeah? What do the, the issues that Kenyans are talking about have nothing to do with me? All right? Have you seen me in any of those events? Have you seen me talk about any of those events? Yeah? Now if you say that because of my association with Raila, am I not supposed to talk to my friends? Is that a crime in Kenya today? Yeah? Is that a crime? Maybe you should tell me if it's a crime. Maybe you should say, oh, it is a crime to associate with this individual. With this. I thought the only crime was to associate with terrorists. So are you telling me that they are terrorists? Then because then that, that would be the only argument you would have. Or bank robbers or something. Right? Yeah? But I thought we lived in a democracy. In Kenya. I thought, I believed. Yes? And that's why I handed over whatever. I may not have supported this government. Yes? But I accepted the will of the people, didn't I? You all saw me in broad daylight. Was I forced into that field? Right? See, I did what I was supposed to do. So, what, 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 what else do you want? Probably, uh, are there any steps you're going to take after this from this uh, particular uh, incident? This incident, I leave to the lawyers. Because they should tell me what they want with my children. Yeah? Do they want? They've removed their security. Now I hear they want to remove their, their personal weapons. So what? Are they wanting to do that because they are planning something? And if they are planning something, yeah, my only plea 
Don't plan against my mother. Don't plan against my children. Plan for me. If it is me you want. Leave them alone. What do they have to do with anything? Yeah? How many people are licensed to hold weapons in this country? Yeah? Did they not follow the right procedure? Tell us. Tell the world. If, 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 they have, if it's a question of illegal weapons, <laughs> then tell the world, yeah, these people have illegal weapons. Right? But if they are licensed weapons, how many people in Kenya have uh, licensed weapons? Even foreigners. Yeah. All right? So they follow the procedure. Right? So you will do their security. So they're not supposed to defend themselves. What do you want now? What more do you want? Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. President, perhaps now that uh, this is happening, and uh, does this in any way waver your support uh, for Raila Odinga? Why should it? That is my democratic right. It is my democratic right. Yes? Enshrined in our constitution. That Kenyans voted for. Right? That Kenyans voted for. Eh? Mzee Moi died as a, as, as a member of Kanu. And Kanu ceased to rule this country in 2022. He died claiming he, I am a Kanu life member. Was there a problem with that? Was there? Maybe you should tell me. Uh, maybe uh, there was a problem with that. Yeah? He died a Kanu life member. To his grave, he declared himself a Kanu life member. Correct? Was there a problem? So what's the problem? Uh, maybe you should tell me. Maybe there's something that... I don't understand. Uh, Mr. Pres president, the argument here has been that I'm not if Mr. Uh, the, I'm the fourth president, my apologies, the fourth president of the Republic of Kenya, uh, Uhuru Kenyatta, the argument here has been that if you continue politicking, then uh, you may lose. Have you seen me in any rally? Um, declaring maybe your support Have you seen me for. In any rally? Not really. But Have declaring. Have you seen me uh, in any demonstration? Not really. Uh, Have you seen me. Uh, uh, anywhere except where and, and all, all my functions are public this government knows all the activities I have been doing be it in Ethiopia be it in DRC I don't do it undercover they know yeah so which are these other activities maybe they should tell us they're the ones who know they have the whole system yeah instead of going on to cars to claim 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 see that's what I'm saying I'm here do you have to go and look for my mother do you have to go and look for my children? Right? Come for me. I'm here. Yeah? I'm here. In full view of, of you. Yes. So, if you have those claims, Sema. Shideiko wapi. Sema. Another question? Yes, please. Um, there are also allegations that... Uh you financing the opposition to frustrate the government? To frustrate know. them to, from doing what? To frustrate them from doing what? You know when you're a government, you're elected to rule. You're elected not to rule actually, to govern. And to govern in accordance with the wishes of the people. Yeah? I am a retired person. Yes? Why, does, why don't they deal with the issues and the concerns that Kenyans are raising. That's what they should be dealing with. Not looking for scapegoats. Yeah, go, go deal with the issues that Kenyans are raising. Right? Have you spoke? When I was in power, I was dealing with the issues that Kenyans were raising. Yeah? These are not new things. Yes? Have, have, you perhaps, have you perhaps had a tete-a-tete -tete with the current no. president, uh, William Ruto? No. no. I mean, you have a tete-a-tete -tete with somebody who wants to have a tete-a-tete -tete with you. He has not shown any indication that he wants to talk to me. And, as a retired person, why should I go look for somebody who doesn't want to talk to me? Uh. Do you feel like perhaps the safety of your family is being threatened? Absolutely. And that's why I'm here. Yeah, And as you know, I've been quiet. But, being quiet does not mean I will not defend my family. I will defend my family. Right? And I will defend it to the end. Alright? I defended Kenya and I did my best for this country. 
Okay? You may not think well, whoever has that opinion, that opinion, that opinion, that is an opinion. But according to me, I did the best I could do for my country. All right? And I handed over when my time was finished. And I will now do the best that I can do to defend my family. Mr. Pre uh, the retired President, you called a Jubilee Delegates meeting on the in uh, 22nd, I think, uh, February or May. And uh, the question here is, uh, don't you think that is a form of maybe actively participating in politics, trying to iron out and rest no, the no, affairs no, of the Jubilee Party? No. And I said it when I was even right there on the platform. My idea... And my plan was always to surrender my party. But what I completely rejected was the coup that was planned by this government to take over my party forcefully. And I said, let the members decide. But I will not hand over to some puppet group of people, all right, because they have government support. No, that is not democracy. That is not to say that I was not willing to hand over. I wanted to hand over. I was prepared to hand over. But what I found to be completely illegitimate and unacceptable in a democratic state is to be forced to hand over to a group of puppeteers. No. Right? And I stood up and I said, let the members of Jubilee choose who they want to lead them. And that is the person I shall hand over to. And the politicians you're referring to, these were actually your allies formerly. Do you feel betrayed in any form I of way? I have no issue. They are free to do whatever they want. I can't comment about Whatever they want to do, that's their business. Right? My issue is the membership. It is the people. It is the agenda that Jubilee went to the election with. That is what needs to be defended. What individuals do, you go ask them themselves. Me, I, I carry no grudges against anybody. And with the latest development in the party, uh, what... I don't, please. Wh why are you diverting to other things? Me, I'm telling you uh, what I am here, what I'm talking to you about, is the fact that when I was president, I defended my country. As a retired man, I am protecting my family. And I will. All right? And I will not be intimidated. Lastly, uh, lastly, there has been a call for truce by, uh, you know, my members. That's got nothing to do with me. Yeah, so truce, this, truce, that, that's not, not my business. Yeah, but leave my family out of it. And like I say, and I say once again, to you who think you can intimidate an old woman, so that you intimidate me who you think you can intimidate children and grandchildren so you can intimidate if you want me come here i am sijapo sijaenda pahali msiende kusema huyu ametoroka ameenda 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 niko na watu yenu wanajua every second wanajua niko wapi yeah wachana na watoto wachana na wazee mimi niko hapa kama mko na swali na mimi Sawa. Yeah? Sasa hiyo watu sijui wameenda wapi? Waende, wakirudi, watarudi, kama hawatarudi, wakae. Lakini kwangu hii ni nyumba yangu. Yeah? Sio yangu ni ya watoto yangu. Yeah? Na mimi nitalinda kama kila mwananchi mwingine atalinda mali yake. Yeah? Sio ndio haki ya kila mkenya. Yeah? Na mimi si waulizi wanipatie walinzi, wakitaka kuwachukua achukue wote. Lakini wanipatie heshima yangu ya kulinda pia mimi mali yangu kama mkenya mwingine lastly before you actually exited office you had a meeting in Sagana and you said to the people that they will suffer after you exit uh, do you think they make you know what i said so if you want to know about what i said yeah me i don't try and hide from what i said kwenda kufanya search button kwa google ama whatever utajua nilisemaje na hiyo hii ni public knowledge si ni namna hiyo kuna haja ya kurudia kwenda google tu ufinye button utajua ama namna gani na nawashukuru na ombi langu kwenu nyinyi kama fourth state lindeni uhuru wa wakenya ya lindeni demokrasia ya taifa letu sina ingine 
hiyo ni haki yenu. Si ndio? Ya? Na wakenya wanawatarajia mfanye hivi. Sawa? So, God bless you. Thank you for coming and I appreciate it. Asante.